Welcome to our video abstract presenting our microfluidic integrated platform and disposable tubes for synthetic biology. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our work and show you the platform and how it can be used very practically. We've developed this microfluidic integrated platform specifically for use in the field of synthetic biology. Synthetic biology describes methods and technology to re-engineer biological units such as cells and microorganisms. To do so, bioengineers are using bioparts or biobricks, which are encoding fragments of DNA and combining them together to re-engineer or reprogram cells or organisms. The design of new genetic systems involves the synthesis and assembly of genome segments. Biologists and bioengineers have devised a number of ways in which to assemble these large fragments of DNA. Ligation is one of them, and in this article we have used a specific ligation protocol developed at Ginkgo Bioworks. Most ligation processes are using specific overhangs, commonly known as sticky hangs, and consisting of two to four nucleotides. Ligation allows one of the most efficient assembly methods, which is pooling assembly. Compared to serial parallel or hierarchical assembly, pooling assembly has the advantage of joining multiple segments in one single reaction. Eventually, the assembled DNA is meant to be transformed into competent cells, and it is therefore crucial that the assembly is free of unwanted or unbound oligos to avoid losing efficiency and yield. We have chosen to focus our efforts on the automation of a double purification protocol. Current platforms used for the assembly or purification of genome fragments are liquid handling robots. They can be very expensive and high on maintenance. On the other hand, microfluidic platforms offer advantages such as the min miniaturization, high throughput and the possibility of integrating many actuators. Additionally, our system is very cost-effective as it is based on a decoupling principle. The fluid layer is isolated in the disposable chip made of two elements. A block of PMMA which hosts the microfluidic channels and the valve and pump seats and an elastomeric deformable layer which seals the channels and allows the opening and closing of the valve via compressed air. The architecture of the chip consists of four independent channels, 250 microns in width and almost 4 cm in length. Each of these independent channels has input and output wells about 4 mm in diameter and a pitch of 4.5 mm, much like a 96 well plate. Each channel has its own pump and reaction chamber and a back valve to isolate the reaction chamber. And now let's turn to the platform. The platform is made out of a PMMA block with threaded uh, ports that accommodate connectors. The chip is fed uh, of compressed air controlled by electro valves to close and shut the valves within the chip. We can add as many micro components as I want as long as they fit onto the platform without increasing the cost of the disposable chip. Here we have a peltier and a robotic arm with a magnet. The chip can be placed onto the platform and clamped down and silicon always ensure a good connection between the chip and the platform. The chip can then be loaded using a pipette or a robotic arm. Using this platform, we have performed the parallel purification of GFP, RFP and plasmid backbone pre-assembled parts. Our biological validation study has shown that the relative percentage of cell number to exhibit the correct strain after purification on chip and assembly of chip is higher with the washing vol volume on chip. We've also shown that in on chip and off chip studies, the percentage of relative cell number to exhibit the correct strain was comparable or up to 20% higher on chip in a negative control where the pre-assembled part was replaced with water and the product of the purification was placed in a ligation with a plasmic backbone. We failed to grow any cells or colonies at all, thereby proving there is no cross-contamination between, between the wells of the chips.